Hi, it's Beth at Majestic Cupcakery and I'm back with another video. I decided to make the go-to favourite that is the caterpillar cake. We like to call him Carl. This was loads of fun and took me back to childhood so let's get on with the video. So in the mixer I have four egg whites. We'll be using the yolks later so don't bin them. I'm starting to whisk this on a low speed then gradually increasing the speed. When your egg whites have doubled in size and at a soft peak, you're going to add your sugar. I used 60 grams of caster sugar, but just keep adding one teaspoon at a time to the egg whites so it all incorporates. If you dump it all in in one go, it won't whip up to stiff peaks. I suppose it's kind of like a meringue but has less sugar so the end texture won't be as smooth and glossy, but that's okay. Now that's done and holds a stiff peak, set aside and we will move on to the yolks. I have four yolks in the bowl which you should have saved earlier, I'm just going to give them a quick mix before adding the sugar. I'm going in with 60 grams of brown sugar. If you don't have brown sugar, don't worry, just substitute for caster sugar. We're just going to whisk that up so it's aerated and fluffy. It usually takes about three or four minutes. Now to tell if the mixture's done, we're just going to lift the attachment up and swirl it into the egg yolk mixture. It should leave a ribbon trail in it and that's when you know it's ready. To the egg yolks we're going to add 60 grams of melted butter. In this bowl I have 60 grams of self-raising flour, 3 tablespoons of cocoa powder, 1 teaspoon of baking powder and a pinch of salt, all sifted together. Then we're going in with a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now it's time to put everything together. I'm adding in my egg whites I made earlier. We're just going to fold all the mixture together very carefully. We don't want to knock out too much air in the eggs. This is the main source of the rise in the cake so be gentle. This is how the batter should end up, still aerated and all the egg whites combined. Now I've just pre-lined and greased a thin baking tray, sizes and recipe will be in the description. 
I'm just pouring in my batter and spreading it out with the spatula to level. Just give it a little shake to level it out more. Bake at 160 degrees fan for 10 to 12 minutes. It's a very quick bake cake, so watch closely. The cake's out of the oven and I've just flipped it onto some greaseproof paper dusted with cocoa powder while it's still hot. That's the important part, you need to make sure it's still hot. So I'm using the grease proof to help me roll up the cake. The tighter you roll it, the better the swirl. This is so when you fill it and roll it later, it has memory of being rolled and prevents cracking. Now it's cool, we're going to fill. I've unrolled the cake and removed the paper. I'm just adding chocolate buttercream, but you can use whatever you like. You'll be able to see now how well it's going to roll back up if it's curled up at the ends. So just go ahead and roll that back up and cut off the ends to make it straight. Plus you get a little snack then. Hopefully this is how it should be looking. Using the rest of the chocolate buttercream, I'm just crumb coating around the cake to make it smooth for the chocolate later. This just needs to go in the fridge until it's firmed up. While the cake is setting, we're just going to make the caterpillar's head. I made this earlier so it would set, so I recommend melting it and putting it in the mould before baking the cake. I just used a round cutter lined with cling film and put white chocolate in, then set it in the fridge. All I'm doing is using the warmth of my hands to melt the chocolate and smooth out the edges. Using giant chocolate buttons for the eyes, just stuck on with a little melt of chocolate. A smarty for the nose. Then I'm just carving in the mouth and shaping it with my fingers to get the shape I want. Just use tiny bits of white chocolate to highlight the eyes. 
Now I'm just using white chocolate buttons, cutting half of the ears and using the warmth of my hands again to melt and shape it. The cake should now be set and we're just drizzling over melted milk chocolate and spreading it around with a knife to cover it all. I'm just using the knife to create stripes in the cake, just so it's got a pattern on the cake, but this is optional. Or be creative and create any pattern you want. Now just add the caterpillar head you made earlier while the body is still wet. Add some smart ears. some crushed up smarties transfer it to a cake board and use white chocolate buttons as feet and there you go Carl the caterpillar I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see new videos weekly bye